What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top five MLB bets or MLB props for today on prize picks. Today is 9-29-2023. Um, almost end of September guys, let's have another profitable month. Let's end the month off strong. Um, really quick before we do get started, if you guys are interested in signing up to Underdog, I have a special deal going on right now for using my code TTL. If you use code TTL when you sign up to Underdog and make your first deposit, it will be matched up to $500. Usually they give you a 100% match up to $100. It's now bumped up all the way to $500 completely free. So take advantage of that. And before we do get started, if you guys are interested in signing up to VIP, it's only $20 a month. The value that you get for that price is absurd. I post my complete prize picks, underdog, and sleeper slips. We do sports book bets, watch parties, VIP only giveaways. I actually have multiple giveaways going on right now. Um, we, do, we have a ton of stuff going on for VIPs. So make sure to sign up $20 a month. We've been killing the free picks too. Um, just to show you what we have going on in VIP, let's kill it again today. Um, let's get into these picks. It's a long enough intro, and um, hopefully that we we kill it today. We went uh, three and one the day two uh, three days ago. We went three one with one DNP. Then the day after that we went four and one. Then yesterday we went two and one. So we are due for the sweep. We hit both of our NFL plays yesterday. Um, Jordan Love, zero rushing attempts, or under three and a half rushing attempts, and then Goff, under passing yards. But um, let's just get into these picks. Um, the first two or three picks are going to be better on Sleeper, personally. If you're not signed up to Sleeper, you can use code TTL as well. But it's going to be Zach Gallon over five strikeouts. This is four and a half on Sleeper, which makes it a little bit better. It gets rid of that push potential. We can take a look at the strikeout rate, uh, ratings. And we can see that Houston are third in the league for least amount of strikeouts. That's the only reason I'm iffy about this play. They average seven and a half strikeouts per game on the season. Gallon is a great pitcher, though. Again, his line is better at four and a half, but I do believe that he at least pushes this line. We can take a look at our uh, partners and outlier, and we can see Zach Gallon over four and a half strikeouts is around minus 130 to minus 150 odds on sports books. And when we take a look at his last five, he's went over this line in three out of his last five. He's went over in six of his last 10, with none of these being pushes too, thank goodness. Um, in 2023, he has went over four and a half in 24 of 33 games, 73% of the time. So I know it's versus Houston. I know the Astros don't strike out very often compared to other teams, but I do love this play today. Um, he usually goes around six innings. Um, that's 18 pitching outs minimum, uh, for the most part minimum, unless he just gives up a ton of runs and tons of hits. But around 18 pitching outs is what I would see him getting, 18 to 21. So with that being said, only getting five strikeouts or more, I, I, I see that very doable for someone like Zach Gallen who has – multiple games where he's gotten double digit strikeouts multiple games where he's gotten eight nine strikeouts as well and i've been getting a lot of i wouldn't necessarily say hate some people are showing hate but a lot of like curiosity about why i'm still playing pitching props everybody's saying oh all these pitchers are going to be pulled don't listen to him guys the, uh don't play the pitcher props we keep on cashing the pitcher props I have had no issues yet. If I start having issues, then I'll switch it up. I'll do some total bases, some hitter fantasy, etc. But for as long, as far as prize picks goes, I'm going to keep on slamming these strikeout props. I have had no issues so far. Um, next in line, I'm going to do Waldachuk under five strikeouts. This is versus the Angels who strike out quite a bit. Um, we can see the Angels are 27th to 30th in the league, averaging nine and a half strikeouts per game eight strikeouts per game over their last three this is at five and a half on sleeper as well so obviously i do like under five and a half more just because it gets rid of that push potential um but under five and a half strikeouts minus 145 minus 150 odds on sports books last five he stayed under in three of five last 10 he stayed under in seven of 10 and then in 2023 he has stayed under in 16 of 21 games which is 76 percent of the time um, we can also take a look 
versus the Angels, he goes from an 8.5 strikeouts per nine innings average all the way down to a 4.9. Um, this is with only 11 innings pitched. There's not much really uh, much data behind that, but I do love seeing that. His average innings pitched this year is 4.2 innings pitched just because he gives up so many runs that he ends up having to uh, get pulled. But loving this line today. You could also, I guess, take the over, um, well, over two and a half run runs is quite a bit. Let me look at the hits. Now, over four and a half hits allowed is fine, too, if you're on sleeper or underdog and it has that line. That should be fine as well. Um, but, yeah, the hits over or the strikeouts under are the two best props for him. And then next in line, we have where's he at? John Means under four and a half strikeouts. So we can take a look at this one. Um, four and a half strikeouts versus Boston. Boston are... 13th in the league for least amount of strikeouts, 8.43 strikeouts per game on average. I will say recently they've been striking out a ton. They had 10 last game, 13 on average over the last three. This is a huge bounce back spot for them versus John Means. This is the top play on um, Outlier just because he's hit this in all. It's only three or four games uh, sample size, but he has stayed under in all three or four games. This is around minus 120 odds on a sports book. If you can take it on a sports book, do that if you'd rather do that. Um, his last five includes one game for, or two games from last season, but he's played three games this season. He got one strikeout, one strikeout, four strikeouts. So um, there's not much data behind this. He's averaging 3.12 strikeouts per nine innings. Um, he pitched five innings the first two games and then seven innings versus Cleveland when he got the four strikeouts. Boston are pretty good at not striking out as well. I know they're not as good as Cleveland, who are ranked one for at least amount, but they still are above um, above the halfway mark, ranked 13th in the league. John means five strikeouts is what he would have to get versus them. I just don't see him doing that. Again, you can take this on a sports book where it's almost plus money if you'd rather do that. That makes the most logical sense, but I'm going to put him in this prize picks play as well, and I really like it. Next in line, we have Kyle Hendricks, over three and a half strikeouts. Um, let's take a look at this one. These versus the Brewers. Milwaukee are 17th in the league, averaging 8.69 strikeouts per game this season. We'll take a look at... Hendrix, it's around minus 110, 115 odds on sportsbooks. This is another one where if you want to take it on sportsbooks, it makes sense because you get better odds than on prize picks. But over the last five, he's hitting four out of five. Last 10, he's hitting seven of his last 10. And in the season so far, he's hit 65% of the time, 15 of 23 games. Um, versus the Brewers, he goes from a 6.17 strikeouts per nine innings all the way up to an 8.25. This is with a 12 innings pitched um, baseline. He's averaging 5.2 innings pitched per game. Some games going up to eight innings. Some games only going four. Really depends on how he starts out. I think he's going to kill it this game. I think he's going at least six innings, maybe even seven. And um, I love this place for Kyle Hendricks. So that's four picks. Let's get our fifth one. The fifth one is going to be Joe Ryan over five and a half strikeouts. Let's take a look at this one. Um, this is versus Colorado. Colorado are 28th in the league, averaging nine and a half strikeouts per game this season on average. And when we take a look at Joe Ryan, it's around minus 130 odds on sports books. So around what prize picks gives you for the over five and a half. And when we take a look, his last five, he said it in three out of his last five. Hit it in seven of his last 10. And in 2023, he's hit it in 19 of 28 starts, which is 68% of the time. Um, he doesn't have any data versus Colorado this year, just the one game that he played versus them last year, which I'm not really looking at. Um, so this year, again, 68% of the time, 19 of 28 starts, averaging 5.2 innings pitched, a lot of just six innings pitched. That's the median. Um, every once in a while, seven but very, very rarely, and very, very rarely he goes below six as well. Um, I like this spot for him a lot. I'm taking the over five and a half. So these are my top five picks, guys. Of course, some of these are better on sleepers. Some of these are better on sports books, but I know the majority of you guys use prize picks. Uh, if you're not on underdog, sleeper, and prize picks, all three, 
I highly recommend being on all three so you can get the best lines possible at all times. Um, you can use code TTL. You get that deposit match again on underdog until October 4th. You get up to $500 for free. So take advantage of that, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's try and get to 100 likes again. We've done it twice in a row now. And yeah, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the Discord and in the Patreon.